this section, we are going to talk about safe therapeutic horse handling. Therapeutic horse handling is very different than your daily horse handling. Uh, we're not, this is not a disciplinarian section. This is not a time that we're going to be teaching our horse spatial awareness. Uh, this is where we're actually looking for feedback from them and by allowing them to move it's going to provide more valuable data to us as a practitioner or as a therapist so if so we always recommend using a horse handler just because you can focus on the horse when you're administering the therapy so the horse handler we like to have about 18 inches of slack in the rope and um, that way the horse handler isn't pulling on the horse's face. It's allowing the horse to be able to move its head and give us some feedback. And the horse handler should not wrap its hand around um, because if something were to happen and the horse were to pull back, it could be a potential injury to the handler. Um, at the end of the day, these guys are a thousand plus pounds and it, we, we just want to avoid injury if at, at all possible. The other part of it is um, the horse handler should have some pretty good energy. So choose your horse handler wisely. Um, if the person is pretty scattered and, you know, their energy is a little bit fractured and they're not really kind of grounded and right. And they're doing lots of different things. That's not going to be what is going to be best for the horse from a therapy session. Cause the whole reason we're doing this right is to administer therapy to the horse. So, um, the other thing is, is right. Yeah. The, um, horse handlers should not be interact shouldn't be talking to the horse shouldn't be petting on the horse should you know i'm been accused of kissing on the horse's nose um the horse handler literally is just holding the rope and holding the energetic space and that is it now when you are utilizing a horse handler if i were working on this side of the horse the handler should always be on the same side of the horse that you are working on this is for the therapist's safety. The horse handler should be able to quickly turn the hindquarters away from the horse in the event that something goes awry. So um, that is when you use a horse handler. That would be an ideal situation. A lot of times we're working on horses by ourselves. So we want to set you up so you're in an ideal environment. So uh, this particular horse does really well uh, ground tying or just us throwing the rope over the stall wall. She's a really good girl. So I would feel comfortable with that. Um, but I know this horse, this is my own personal horse. Um, the other part of it is, is I could also just kind of put the rope in the crook of my arm. So I could be working on her and whenever I'm working on her, I would just have the rope in the crook of my arm so that if something were to happen, I can at least bend my elbow and I could pull her head toward me and her butt away so that um, if something were to happen that um, I have a little bit of a protection against me as well. Uh, the third thing is, is you can use cross ties. Uh, we like to use one cross tie if whenever possible, I, and, but it would be loose cross tie. So if your horse, there's a lot of horses that are really super comfortable being cross tied. And if that's their comfort zone, then that's where they need to be. If that's their safe place, whatever is going to be a safe place for them is going to be the best bet. So when you're working on your horse, um, part of the uh, handling part is also keeping both hands on the horse. That's a super important safety part of it. You should always have two hands on the horse because a lot of times you might be looking backwards or you might be looking down at their feet and you can't see what's going on around you. So from a safety perspective, you want to have both hands on the horses 
or ha have both hands on the horse. The other part of it is, is typically when I'm working on a horse, I'm always looking at them and my body is facing forward until I get to about the midsection and then I turn around and I'm working on them from this side. And this is one of the reasons why I like to have a horse handler because when I have my back to the horse, I can't read what's going on in their face. So give your handler a job to do, ask them, give me feedback, tell me what the horse is doing with their face. Are their eyes wide? Are their eyes soft? Are, you know, are they licking and chewing? Are there, you know, what's, what's going on? What is, what feedback is the horse giving you? The other component is when you are working down below, don't stick your head down and keep looking this way. You want to keep your head up. Um, that's so that you can see what's going on and be aware and, you know, keep an eye on the horse. So those are um, going to be all tips that we have found that will keep you safe when you are administering uh, light therapy to your horse.